Those are all the controls to create and send various types of messages and announcements. If you are going to give the end user the ability to do all these things, you might foolishly think to yourself, oh, well, I should take all the things in this control panel and I should put them on a UCI so the end user has the ability to make all those choices. Here's my UCI. I'll get rid of my logo so I can, uh, oops, go away, go away. I'll get rid of my logo and drop all these controls right here. That is, once again, grounds for being fired. Don't do this. Those are way, way too many controls for the average person to have to think about. Look at this. It, for every single one of these controls, do you want your receptionist to be deciding if they're going to split it or archive it or retry? Do you want the receptionist at the front of the restaurant to have to decide how many times this message is going to go back into the queue if it gets interrupted? No, that's not for them to worry about. They just need a button to press to say, Mr. Jones, your table is ready. Don't give too many controls. If you give too many controls on a UCI, you're going to overwhelm the user with, with just uh, uh, too many options and that makes it far more confusing for them than helpful. You want to give them the minimal number of controls that they need in order to effectively work with the, the system. In this case, I would say they need the talk button, for sure. You probably want to give them the cancel button, just in case they, they want to uh, get rid of something. You probably want to have them choose which mode they are going to choose between, but even that, I wouldn't give them that. I wouldn't give them that control. Why? Because that control is a drop-down menu, and that drop-down menu has words like live, auto, delay, loop, message, five different options. I don't want them picking between five different options. That's confusing. Are they going to know what auto means? No. Give them something that is easy to use. So. For something like this, if they need to choose between a live page and a message, I'm gonna give them buttons that give them just that. How will you do that? Well, you know, a couple different ways you could do it. For me, personally, I think I would use uh, maybe a selector. I'll come on over here and I'll grab a selector from the, Oop, there it is. I'll drag this in and I'll use the selector to control the mode of my virtual page station. Let's expose the mode control pin, wire the output of the selector to the virtual page station. I'll open this up and hop into emulation mode to define what my output options are gonna be. Option one is going to be live. Option two is gonna be message. Make sure that these match exactly the string in the control that you're potentially going to change. Let's test it out to make sure it works. If I click live, yes indeed, it changed the mode to live. If I click message, yes indeed, it changed the mode to message. Perfect, that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to take these two buttons, selection one and selection two, I'm gonna put those on my UCI, and that way I don't have to give them a drop-down menu of options they don't understand. I can just name this one message, or I'm sorry, that's live. <laughs> that's live and that's message. Now they just have two buttons that they can choose to choose their mode. What else do they need? Do they need to choose the priority? Probably not. Probably not. Hopefully not. I would refrain from giving this to them. More likely, you'll choose what the priority for this station is going to be or what the types of messages that they're going to announce is. Uh, I don't want them picking any of the rest of this. I do want them to probably pick which message they're going to send if they're in message mode. And then lastly, they probably want the zones. So I'll give them all five zones. And then I'm gonna delete all the rest of this. And then that, those are the actual controls that they're going to need. All right, now I'm gonna spend a couple minutes and I'm gonna make this look a little prettier. So let's do some, uh, let's do some time lapse. Here we go. Okay, that only took three seconds, it was so easy. 
I've just spent a couple minutes to make this UCI a little bit more um, easy on the eyes. I've got my talk button. I can choose between live and message and choose my, my five zones. I even went a little bit of extra distance here. When it's in live mode, I removed the, um, the message field entirely. When I go to message mode, then I fade in that message. So it's on a separate layer, which I'm doing by controlling a UCI layer controller. And I added a layer onto my UCI. So when the second button is selected, I fade in that second field. That way, if someone is not making a message happen, they don't even need to worry about it because it's not on screen. And here I have on my UCI. So now I can choose to pick the lobby. Let me make sure that my hover monitor is still saved here. And I will go to my message. I will pick the appropriate message as make that happy hour. And we'll hit play. And it all goes from there. An announcement from Fake Hotel. Ladies and gentlemen, Fake Hotel would like to announce our fake happy hour in the fake bar from 345 to 346, where all drinks will be 0% off. Thank you. Good announcement. All right, so I've made a UCI for my paging system. It's pretty simple. However, there's still a better way to go. Even with this, this is still a rather manual method where people are choosing the destinations, choosing what type of material they're sending out and hitting play. You might want to make it even easier. And you can make it even easier by creating just a single button for some common messages that you may be sending out. Maybe you're all the time, you're sending out an, a, a page that opens up the microphone so you can tell people that their room is ready, for instance. Maybe you're used to sending out an announcement um, whenever the food trucks arrive and you wanna send this announcement to the various areas of the building where the people will know the food truck is there. For things like that, for repeatable announcements that you do a lot, it sure would be nice to just have a single button that does all that for you, right? Rather than choosing it every single time. We can do that, and we're gonna do that. Let's take a quick break first, all right? See you after the break. <laughs> 